This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. In Mike Cross's classic song, The Lord Will Provide, otherwise known as the Chicken Hawk Song, the buzzard and the hawk are sitting on a fence by the henyard, hungry. The impatient hawk keeps prodding the buzzard to grab a chicken, and the wise old buzzard points to the sky and replies, The Lord Will Provide. Finally, the chicken hawk can stand it no longer. He swoops down to steal a chicken, when suddenly the farmer appears with his shotgun and dispatches the hawk. The patient buzzard looked heavenward and said, I told you the Lord would provide. Who has ever seen a buzzard in a hurry? Even if you drive up on them during a meal on the highway, they don't hurry away. They just lazily raise their wings or saunter off, unconcerned, confident that the Lord will provide. Around Kansas, no matter what part of the state you find yourself, you will find the turkey buzzard, fully employed ridding the roadways of carrion. It is a noble profession. The turkey buzzard would not be considered beautiful, especially close up. It is a face only a mother turkey buzzard could love. But they are impressive creatures with wingspans up to six feet. They appear to exert so little energy, rarely flapping their wings and instead gliding on thermal drafts. They do not have a lilting song because their vocal cords are not like other birds. As a result, they hiss and grunt. Dr. Jake once sought refuge for the night in an old barn where a buzzard family roosted. The baby squawked into the night until the mom squawked more loudly and shushed the baby. Buzzards are communal creatures and roost together in large groups. I observed a tree full of vultures in a campground once. They arrived at the same time each evening to sleep and arose the next morning as if the alarm clock had gone off and they were all headed to work. They were fascinating. Yes, turkey buzzards are interesting creatures, and it turns out buzzard is not an accurate name for them. As scientists have studied birds more closely, they believe that the turkey vulture is more closely related to the stork and the ibis, and thus have differentiated between Old World and New World vultures. Like their stork relatives, New World vultures have very weak feet, which is why the stork carries new babies in its beak rather than clutching them with its claws. This deficiency isn't a problem, since the turkey vulture doesn't grasp prey like a hawk or an eagle. No, the vulture's most valuable asset is its keen sense of smell. The turkey vulture would be the most popular guy at frat parties. When threatened, it regurgitates to disgust its attacker. Anyone but Bluto and Otter from Animal House fraternity fame would be repulsed. There are more than four and a half million turkey vultures going to work every morning, cleaning the roadsides with little praise or appreciation and no orange cones or speed zones to protect them. Next time you see them at work, instead of going ooh, go ah. And like the turkey vulture, work every day, confident that the Lord will provide. <laughs> Welcome to Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center. Right here in Oakley, Kansas on I-70 at exit 76. I-70 after all is America's Main Street and we're right here on Main Street for you. Now that I'm an Oakley resident, I still come in almost every day and I sit and listen to the conversations of the people around me. You know, the guys who are talking about the big elf they just bagged or the folks who are taking their kid to college for the first time. People just traveling up and down the highway. Real people, just like you and me. And they find just what I find here, real people to serve them. There's history, there's scenery. We hope you'll stop and see us soon. Welcome to Oakley.